Well, let me see. What have we got here? Hmm. Duh. They're headphones or earphones. Um, and they used to be a black kind of plastic cover on these. And they're starting to fall apart a bit. That had come off and then these had come off. And before you know it, there'd be nothing left. So something ought to be done in order to preserve them. And they also don't sit in my ear very well. I used to have... Um, uh, some headphones or earphones that would pop in the air and they'd have these sorts of inserts which come in different sizes but nothing that quite matches the shape of my ear so um, what I did is I got some blue tack and some uh, cling film And so, yeah, I suppose I've got to put that little warning in that disclaimer that this is not my recommendation to you to do things like this yourself. Because obviously if you're sticking things in your ears, there's a risk that you'll stick things in in a foolish way that will cause damage to your ears. So don't do that. Um, if you do anything like that, you do it at your own risk. The result, um, which I don't know if you can see very well at all, but the shape of that... It's quite complex, there's some complex curves going on. And I thought that if I could sort of capture the shape of my ear and then measure it using some calipers, so getting this sort of thing going on. Um, so you you know, you can sort of see the shape. Okay, measure that. Uh, do the same here, it's a bit closer. Um, and, you know, gradually build up a little profile of about three layers that would approximate to the actual shape of my inner ear. So yeah, looking at the actual, um, uh, what, what you start off with, um, you've got these uh, planes, the default planes, but actually they, they tend to get rather in the way. So I'm gonna get rid of the front and the right one, just hide them. Uh, we're gonna add some new ones, which are kind of where I felt um, the shape of the the curve was was a good place to kind of do what's called a loft between, and then uh, I just measured the the actual headphones um, that that I'm starting with, and then just did a straightforward extrude from there. Straight, you know, just that's going to be the bit that's going to pop over the end of the earphone. Um, the plan is to do this in vase mode uh, when it comes to printing. So um, all I've done is I've literally done sketches on these three additional layers. So there's that one that's for the, the sort of the first level, then the next level, and then the top level. So really simple. And they're just, you know, taking those measurements and really guesstimating. Because, I mean, you know, my ear is flexible, uh, it's flesh after all, um, so this doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. And then the loft. Now, interestingly, when I did the loft, I kind of selected the um, three sketches from bottom to top. It didn't like that. Um, and I thought, in fact, there was a bug, and there's this great thing where you can actually sort of register a bug with on shape. Um, there may well be the same sort of thing with something else like Fusion 360, but I was very impressed how quickly they got back to me. And she'd actually looked at my drawing and did the loft and just reversed the order of the, the loft selection. And it worked perfectly. What was happening was I was getting a weird bulge out of one side for no apparent reason. Um, and then all I've done is the usual trick, which I'd recommend to anybody when you're doing anything like this, is lots of lovely fillets. Uh, which are these curved, it's this option here, it's like a, a curved chamfer. So it's taking this sharp edge and turning it into a nice rounded edge. Uh, and interestingly, in vase mode, of course, this is the top. And everything else is sort of below it. And, and so you end up with this quite nice small hole when you come to, to printing it out. That really is all there is to that. Yeah, this is what I came up with, and I found them very comfortable. So it's a bit of fiddle. I'm just getting blue tack on the inside of the rim. A tool would be useful here, I think. Ah, I know. Perfect tool. 
Do it and it sort of doesn't look too bad. There's no blue tack sticking out. Quite pleased with that. That'll do the job. <laughs> 